traffic accident in quiet northern Utah. Two cars collide, no serious injuries. The story would end there, except that the victim found out that he almost became the first person in America to die because of the latest social media challenge craze. It was 4.50 Monday evening. A latent man was driving home from work here when an oncoming pickup truck swerved into his lane and struck his car. Curtis Calder's car was totaled. He was banged up, but he survived. If it had not been for my airbag, I wouldn't be here. The accident report said the 17-year-old girl behind the wheel of the pickup was a distracted driver. She told the officer on scene she was talking to her passenger when she veered out of her lane. That would be the end of this story, except that it didn't make sense to Calder. The swerving was just so unusual to me. Even as I told the police officer or my family, it seemed like they thought, oh, you know, that's a little exaggeration maybe. He decided to do his own old-fashioned detective work. He printed flyers and pinned them to poles around the neighborhood asking for info. And? And uh, someone called me the next day and said, you know, I didn't see it. However, the word at school is that this is the bird... Uh, what Calder's trying to say is the bird box challenge. I didn't know what that was. It's the latest and maybe the most outrageous social media challenge yet, based on a movie called Bird Box, a sci-fi horror that pits Sandra Bullock's character against unseen evil demons that somehow force anyone who looks at them to kill themselves, which explains the blindfolds. But nothing explains why so many people have imitated the stunt. Was the teenager in the pickup truck bird boxing? We went back and did another interview yesterday and, and found out that it did, in fact, involve this. So it was, that was an element of the case that we initially weren't even aware of. You want to punish the girl? No, no. You know, she has plenty of consequences from this. I just really don't want anybody else to even try that. They're going to suffer bad consequences. All right, John. Speaking of consequences, oh yeah, this girl admitted that she was bird boxing. Right? What does yeah. that mean now? Police tell me what would have probably been a distracted driving citation now turns into a misdemeanor criminal charge mm. if the county attorney decides to file it. Um, reckless driving, which could carry a penalty of six months in jail and a one thousand dollar fine. All this mm. for joining the latest social media craze. It just is one of those things, yes, just don't do it. And as a parent, you just like pray that your kids know to just not do I it. I hear hers are beside themselves.